It's always exciting to work with live bands. You know, the rap performance is much different. You know, you have a DJ, you're scratching records, you know, it's music, but it's a DJ and then it's yourself. With the with the with a band, it's many instruments, you know, you have a whole lot more room to drop instruments and bring some in, bring some out, talk to the crowd. And you can kind of pace yourself, you know, you know, because they can play as long as you want them to play. It's not like a record that's about to get to that hook or get to that part where it's ending and the DJ has to keep scratching. So it's kind of like a different feel, different environment, but it's always great to perform with a band. I'm performing Liquid Swords album with Grupo Fantasma. That's what we're doing. And we might squeeze one or two Wu songs in there. Yeah, but that's basically what it is. If you look at rap, hip-hop, or whatever you want to call it, I mean, it's a combination of all kinds of music, rock, pop, rap. I mean, we started rhyming off disco records and rock records from back in the days. And um, it's kind of interesting because around that time, like when I was in elementary school, I remember some of the kids that went to school, like some of the young white kids that were in the school, like we would go back and forth every day. And this was in elementary where they would say, disco sucks, rock lives. And we would be like, rock sucks, disco lives. And it was that type of you you know between us and and then all of a sudden hip-hop combined all these things together and and use it i mean some of the some of our beats were from rock beats and stuff like that like we will we will rock you you know that beats the boom boom the don't don't that's hip-hop so a lot of a lot of music we took from other we had taken from other songs beats and breaks and disco or r b or whatever whatever it is I mean, I'm a fan of all kind of music. Sometimes I can do with and sometimes I can do without. But, um, you know, you know how it is. It's just sometimes I, I, I can't leave a club after performing and get in the car and listen to hip-hop, you know, like, or get on the bus and listen to hip-hop. So sometimes you're with it and sometimes you're not. But music, I think music is just great in general. It, it does great things for people, you know, I mean, good and bad. But overall, I think it's a, it's a healer. So bathe in it, and shower in it, and have fun, and sing in it. You know people sing in the shower. Dark matter is universal. It's a journey through the universe. Hell of a trip, because I can basically rhyme about anything and make it interesting. If, if, if I'm interested in it, I can make it interesting to others, so it's not hard. Like a lot of times people will hear a topic or they, they hear you say something like, I want to rhyme about this or that or I want to rhyme about stars and planets and they they may look at it like it's, it can be really boring just from thinking of it but um, there's so much you can touch on I, I am doing complicated topics right now but um it's, it's not a problem as long as I you know do the research and put the time into it and, and the effort and my all in all and I, I think it'll come out well I have a lecture coming up at MIT, and then I have one at um, NYU, and then I have one at Cornell University. And um, basically, I, I'm, I'm speaking about myself, my upbringing, my involvement with hip hop, my relationship to Wu Tang, my thoughts, and you know, where I gather inspiration from what I think about the industry and the globalization of hip hop and um, just certain subjects and topics that relate to music itself. Lectures are great, man. I mean, it's a different experience. It's a different arena than being on stage in front of a crowd. There's no music, there's no jumping around or partying, there's no alcohol and all that crazy stuff. It's just students, staff, teachers, professors just sitting down listening to what you have to say. I was asked several months ago, I mean, I was asked a while ago, a few years ago to do a lecture but um, it didn't happen and then I was just recently asked if I would go up to Harvard and speak to some of the students and it's pretty challenging you know you have to really sit down and put yourself into it but it's a beautiful thing I mean I, I enjoy it you know and I'm and, you know it's just something great to embark on and I plan on doing more and more <laughs>